Hi, I'm Alan Little. I have a YouTube channel called AskWoodman.tv and a woodworking blog called AskWoodman.com. I've been a professional woodworker for over 27 years, uh, building primarily furniture of my own design. And, uh, but I wanted to tell you today about a uh, new venture that I'm uh, embarking on, and that's a, uh, a tool company called Very Super Cool Tools. One of my subscribers to my YouTube channel and I, we've, we formed this, this company and the first product that we're going to offer is this T-square fence that accepts any of these aluminum extrusions as the fence for uh, a table saw. Now this is completely compatible with all Biesmeyer style table saw fences with a 2x3 uh, guide rail. And, uh, let me give you a little background on how this got started. Another friend of mine and YouTube subscriber knows that I do a lot of metalworking and steel fabrication and building things, tools and fixtures and machines for my own shop. And he, uh, he, was, he generously sent me a whole bunch of different metal and aluminum and, and uh, you know, different pieces of uh, things to experiment with and fabricate with. And one of the things he sent me was an incredible piece of this uh, aluminum extrusion. Now, I, I use Festool all the time. I, I have a lot of their, their products. So I have their guide rail system and their, and their, their track saw system and also their uh, router jig. And So I, I'm a little familiar with the use of aluminum extrusions, but I had no idea something like this existed where it was structural, it, it was absolutely flat, straight, square, and with, without any uh, deflection or flex in it whatsoever. So, you know, as soon as I took this out of the crate, within no time, I was able, already scheming on making a new table saw fence. And since I can weld, I, uh, I started immediately and came up with this fence. And you've probably seen, or perhaps you've seen my video series where I, I did an eight-part series on my YouTube channel on all aspects of making a T-square table saw fence for a Biesmeyer style guide rail system and using this aluminum extrusion as the fence. And this is my everyday go-to fence. This is the, the this is actually the one that I made for the video series. But I did I wasn't really prepared for the response I was going to get from, from that series. People from all over the world started writing me questions about uh, the fences that they felt empowered to now build and I you know, was able to hopefully help some of them uh, work through some of the details. And a gentleman uh, named Jeff Fisher, who is also a, a YouTube subscriber of mine, he and I started uh, corresponding back and forth and we, we came to the conclusion that a lot of woodworkers would be really excited to see this and use this. So we formed this business, Very Super Cool Tools, to uh, have these things manufactured uh, and offered for sale because we, we think that they are just a, a real powerful concept to take people's table saw to the next level of productivity and flexibility. The uh, ease of use, the be, to be able to transition from one fence to the other with, with, without having to completely break down a setup on something that you already own. You already own a system like this. And so what we what we did is we we had a we've had we're having these these uh, bank vault solid solid steel T squares manufactured in Rochester Minnesota so they're all made in America and they're made they're being fabricated by a very sophisticated uh, steel fabrication shop called TEC Industrial all of the parts are CNC cut they're, it's powder coated this beautiful green color it's TIG welded and it's just built solid. It's a bank vault. I mean, that's what it feels like. And all of the parts that are that you need to make it work, the, the solid steel flap, uh, cam and flapper, the uh, high molecular weight plastic glides, the, uh, the pointer that's adjustable for whatever width you, uh, stock you have on the outside. If, you, if you're like me where you like to have a an additional piece on the outside for, for different applications. The pointer is completely adjustable to zero it back in. So all of this comes as a, uh, as a ready package and we're, we're, we're also including the, uh, the glide that fits on the bottom of the, the uh, aluminum extrusion to make sure that as the, the fence slides across the table saw top that the cast iron and the, 
and the uh, anodized aluminum never come in contact with one another. But it's very exciting to be part of this. And if you don't own a Biesemeyer style table saw fence, I'm going to make a complete video series on how to make your own just by going to your local steel fabrication or your local steel supplier, having some pieces cut to the length that you need. Mine are about seven feet long for this saw with this size outfeed table. And bringing it back, bolting it onto your saw, and away you go. No welding, just some drilling and tapping, and I'll show you everything on how to do that. It will just take you more time to prime and paint and get that thing cleaned up and ready to bolt on and look pretty than it will to actually fabricate it and get it, get it in place. But uh, I want to show you a couple different uh, setups that I've got going here. So the same fence will accept any of these different extrusions. This is a 40 by 80 millimeter. This is a uh, 40 by 100 millimeter. And this big boy here is a 40 by 120 millimeter. And on this one, I have a, what I think is the world's greatest tenoning jig. So I have a, uh, I have, the beauty of these, the beauty of these extrusions is the infinite connection points based on using these, the sliding T-nuts. Sliding T-nuts can go in any of these slots. When you lock them down with, with, standard bolts, it's not going anywhere. So I have this flat bar attached to the top of this extrusion with T-nuts and then to the top of this flat bar I have this THK bearing rail. There's two THK bearings attached to a piece of aluminum extrusion attached to this uh, short piece of extrusion. Then I've got my sacrificial fence that can be adjusted any way I like it. So now I've got this tenoning jig that uh, is a dream come true. And all the Festool clamps, the slotted clamps that fit with all of Festool's accessories, they fit with inside all of the slots of the extrusions like they were just made for it. The beauty of this system is the interchangeability of the different extrusions on the same T-square fence. So I don't want to break this down. I just want to release four bolts, slip it off, put a different fence on, keep working, make, keep making money, keep, keep busy, being productive. So I can, I can just release this, set it aside. None of this even has to be disturbed. So I can, I can switch to this one. I can switch to just a, a plain fence like this if I, if I don't want to have the, the, the high, the high uh, clad fence all the way down to the tabletop. Just whatever you can dream up, you can, you can uh, make happen with this fence system. The, uh, this, one of the features that we integrated into this new fence was threaded inserts in the top for glides. So not only can you, not only do the glides now adjust the, the fence in absolutely perfect parallelness to the tabletop, but then they also allow for exact squareness of the vertical uh, extrusion in relationship to the tabletop and that you can see how important that is in a situation like this where you're cutting tenons and you want to make sure that your cheeks are absolutely uh, square to your stock. So it's a very powerful concept. Now in my, in my situation here I have my router table mounted at the far end of my of my outfeed table. It's an aluminum plate with my Festool router just mounted to the bottom. It's just a drop in into a rabbit. Now I can make any of these extrusions come down and be the fence for my router table. I don't have to have a complete separate router system to take up room in my little shop. I don't have room for another uh, table for, for a router table. So I have to make this, I, I make this work here. But it's awesome because now I can use these sophisticated fences in conjunction with my router table. I can loosen the four bolts on this, flip this around, and now use this to accurately cut sliding dovetails and small components by using the, the glide and ball bearing action of this to be able to, to perfectly pass the work over the router bit. And we all know that woodworking is all about setups. If you can figure out how to set up and hold your stock in relationship to the cutting tool, that's where you can create sophisticated joinery and consequently beautiful and sophisticated pieces if you can control and hold your work. But it's all about the setups. So if you're a professional woodworker, 
This system is going to make money for you. The, the transitions from one operation to the other, it's just, it goes like this. You're not going to believe how fast it transitions. If, you're, are wood, if you woodwork because you love to woodwork and you do it for, for the joy of it, it's going to make you happier in what you're doing. You're going to have more fun. You're going to be more productive. You're going to get more done with, with less frustration. Now, all the people who are interested in this system, we're going to encourage everybody, all the clever people that come up with the, the jigs that we can't even dream of yet since this is so new because of all the, you know, the infinite connection points on it. What people are going to come up with, it's just, it's, it's so exciting to even think about. So we're going to share all that information with all the other people that are interested in this so we can all learn from one another. And because this is such a new concept to use these extrusions with all these connection points for, uh, for woodworking tools. So we're going to have this users group through very super cool tools that we, we can all uh, share and learn from. And uh, it's going to be exciting. So uh, this is our very first product that we're, that we're uh, introducing for very super cool tools, but we have many more in the in the uh, pipeline. One of the most exciting is a new sharpening system that I've been that's been percolating in my brain for over 25 years. That I have finally made uh, two working prototypes that work just magnificently, and uh, we're so excited to be able to get that out and, and help people save time and have uh, sharper tools in a shorter amount of time than you ever dreamed possible at a reasonable, very inexpensive price because it's just so simple and reductionist. So we've got a lot of really great things uh, happening. It's exciting. I'm so excited to be part of this. And, uh, you know, so keep in touch and, and, you know, let me know what you think and subscribe to uh, Very Super Cool Tools and, and let's see what happens. Well, thanks a lot for your time. Bye.